Okay, so today we're finally gonna get some more work done on this. I'm gonna roughly lay out where the uh, building will sit and then I might scrape out some more of that uh, debris over there just to get her a little bit more flat and then we're gonna lay down some gravel for a nice base on some road fabric as well. So let's uh let's do that. I start by picking a point close to where I think that the building will be. Measuring 30 feet out from there. I then measure 30 feet out at 90 degrees from that point. I gave myself a bit of an arc so that I could line up the diagonal a little bit easier. then pull the same distance diagonal to make sure that my square is square. So I just threw some uh, some rough pins in where I figured the uh, I wanted the corners of the building in the end, and then I gave myself an extra two feet on either side. So now what I'm gonna do is I got this laser level. That I'm gonna try and set up and see if I can uh, use the skid steer to get this a little closer to level before I start putting any material down. So this is my first time really using a laser level but I kind of had an idea how they work. With this one it's a rotary laser level so you turn it on if it's close to level it auto levels itself then spins a laser. You have a reader that you can attach to whatever a 2x4 in my case gives you a readout, higher or lower. I was pretty surprised that I was only out about two inches from the highest to the lowest. Not bad for bringing it with the dozer. Now up until this point this year had been extremely dry. We had uh, high 30s for a few weeks there. 
and so everything was really dried out. Yeah, this pre-leveling took a lot longer than it probably should have, but at this time I only had the skid steer and it can't do a lot of work, but it's a lot better than doing it by hand. Alright, so we had a little bit of rain here, which kind of helped actually keep the dust down, but I got our square two feet wider than I needed on every side, uh, pretty close, within uh, a half an inch in most places, but I'm gonna be putting some gravel to level out anyway, so I'm gonna put some fabric down now. I had this roll of geocloth left over from the driveway. Luckily for me, I had just enough to cover the base of the building. I might notice sometimes uh, when I'm in the skid steer, I do some odd maneuvers backing up and forward to turn. It's usually when the machine is cold, the, uh, the left side pump and motor uh, don't really have any power. So I have to work them a little bit, about 15 minutes until they start working properly. After that, it seems to work okay. The whole reason I put the fabric down is because our land is mainly clay and I don't want the gravel to be absorbed by the clay. This acts as a barrier preventing the two from meshing. Thank you. 
Camera died again, and then we had like a monsoon rainfall. Just about got her done. Finish her up now, and then uh, gotta level it out a little bit. Now this material that I'm using isn't the best material to be used for this. Like a three quarter minus crush rock would be the best for self compacting and ease of moving it around. But this pit run compacts really nicely and it's super cheap. So I've basically been using this for all of my gravel needs right now. Yeah, because of our big rainfall there, uh, there was a lot of water saturated into the dirt. So you can see I was having to pull the compactor through the really muddy parts. So I just got done doing the first uh, lift of dirt being compacted, but it rained like so much that it's just a mess. Uh, but it seemed like it compacted it pretty good. So it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. Probably uh, try and get the uh, the next lift on there. I want like six inches here if I can do it, and then. Uh, we can work on uh, other stuff after that. I ended up changing my mind about adding the extra six inches and instead I just leveled it out, added where we were low and got it uh, le level within half an inch.
I ended up with about five inches of gravel. <laughs> 